Western Surbiton since 1997. In his constituency, he is faced with problems familiar to all MPs. Immigration. If you're here illegally, after 14 years of the Home Office have failed to deal with your case, failed to deport you, you can claim um, permanent residency based on long-term residency. Bureaucracy. So what you're saying, as I understand it, is this. The national insurance number people yes. want to have evidence that you're self-employed. Yes. From and the self oh, let me yeah. finish. <laughs> okay, sorry. And the self-employed people will not give you registration number until you have a national insurance number. So these people are saying they're waiting for these people, and these yes. people are saying they're waiting for these people. And threats to local services. We have decided after a long discussion that we were going to go public on this because we think the, ca the campaign to save Kingston's AME and maternity unit should start today. But Ed also has a second job, Shadow Foreign Secretary. It's time for tea with the Taliban and tea with a multitude of local tribal Afghan insurgent leaders. This film follows him from September 2009 to his re-election and appointment as a minister in the new coalition government. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Mr. I probably think the leaked documents that I got on Kingston Hospital was the first major serious leak I've, I've seen. We now have the copy of it, or at least we have a few pages of it, the most relevant ones. The NHS in Kingston called my bluff and said, you've been a pain in the neck for us for so long, uh, you can come and share the meetings. And I'm just starving. If I'm going to be interviewed, I'm going to chew my finger off because I've gone up early and had a very early breakfast. That was going to go into the lunch which you're eating. Oh dear. <laughs> OK. Early night is 9.30. I see him, he goes off at 8 o'clock in the morning. It does take over your life, it's totally. So you might think, oh, election's coming, politician with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is my baby. <laughs> and this little boy here is what you call a service user. His mother and I have been here as service users, uh, and I'm pretty committed to making this centre work for everyone. Ridiculous. With unparalleled access to his constituency surgeries, we can at last answer the question. So what does your MP do? We had a very bad Austin inspection. I'm, I'm telling you what you know, yeah, but I, I know. want to make sure that you know that I know. I know. Yeah, I know you know and I know. Yeah, yeah. And they just used the threatening words and some sort of racialist words. I want to get into this access course, do that for a year on housing benefit, but live off chips. He's a very good chef. I tell you, if you lead from his hands, you know, you'll die. I mean, you want to die. <laughs> We're getting some useful things back from mm. them, but you know, if that exists, why didn't it exist in the first place? Exactly. If for any reason you get any more of that, those rubbish letters, yeah. um, do come and see me. If you want to get me up the house, mate, I could sort, sort that lot out, I tell you. Sort of sack half of them. So that's it in a nutshell. Okay, well, that's nice and clear. <laughs> and I can help you with the first uh, response. Good! <laughs> I'd like to thank you. Oh, you sorted? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, great. Thanks, thanks very much. Oh, you're so right. Sorry, I should no, have let you speak. Thanks very much.